Well, we're at the monthly car show over here at O'Reilly's Auto Parts, and uh, I'm going to check out some cars that we haven't seen before. Looks like a 49 to 50 Ford here. Um, looks like an older paint job, and that some bird with acidic digestive system must have dumped on the roof. Pretty nice, the old shoebox Ford. Something about the position of the gas cap tells you what year it is, and I don't know the specifics. You can see he's got an air conditioner and a nice interior. Looks like his wife left her bikini top on the seat. V8 insignia, and sure enough, uh, it looks like one of those ramjet uh, 350 freight engines. So this thing can get out of its own way for darn sure. Take a look at the front end. All in all, a really nice car and kind of a sleeper because I'm sure it runs a whole lot better than it looks. Years ago in my profligate youth, I had a 65 uh, GTO. Mine was yellow. They called it Mayfair Maze. Had the red line, tiger paw tires. But look at this jewel. Gorgeous paint job. What a beautiful color. White interior with a four-speed. Remember, mine had a... It was a four-speed also, but it had like a wooden dash insert, not that uh, engine turned aluminum. Really nice interior. Something about those hubcaps doesn't look right to me. Not exactly. It's almost like they're inside out or something. I, I don't remember those on mine. Maybe those were the optional hubcaps and I didn't bother with them. Same engine and uh, he's got those kind of strange uh, they're painted or coated with some sort of protective coating on the carburetors but it's got that weird kind of turquoise Pontiac paint color which doesn't go real well with body color but that's tough I remember one night I was home, uh, the car was parked outside, and I thought I heard a noise. I went out and looked, and some guys had stolen my air cleaners. For what reason, I don't know, since tri power GTOs are fairly rare. But anyway, I think this one is about as nice and straight as it gets. Beautiful car. Here's a gorgeous fire engine red. 32 Ford. Let's uh, check this out. This car looks familiar to me. It has three twos. Oh no, no, it doesn't. This is a different car than what I was thinking of. Look at the interior on this. It's absolutely spectacular. Gorgeous work. Body's perfect. It's got those salt flat wheels. They're like $300 a piece. And then if you want the spinner, which kind of makes the wheel, that's like an extra $100 or $120 a piece. Very high dollar. Oh, I know. This guy, I think his father owned MSD Ignition. And they built this car as like a, a demonstration platform for all of their equipment. I don't recall that it had... This looks like a fabricated high-rise with what appear to be two four barrels but it's all fuel injection God. I'll tell you having tried to build a few cars myself getting all these polished and chrome components all the detail work could about double the price of the car that's a beauty this, I think, could hold its own in any car show anywhere in the country. Really nice. I feel really ignorant for not knowing the exact year of this. It's either 39, 40, or 41 Ford Coupe. It's got the satin, or actually kind of a flat finish, which I think is wonderful. Easy to care for. Beautiful white walls on chrome artillery wheels. Nice side mirrors, beautiful interior, look at this, better than a new car.
gorgeous. Look at the paint job on the dash. Just a spectacular car and all the detail work, the trim, the little red ring on the gas filler, nice rear bumper. The thing is absolutely just about perfect. Once again, another car that could probably hold its own in just about any car show anywhere in the country. Very, very nice, very tasteful, kind of understated. Next, let's take a look at this 56 Ford truck. Just a beautiful color. Nice, simple, but rather brutal front bumper. That's a Cobra replica taken off. Look at the chrome work. I don't, you know, nowadays, it's almost easier to buy brand new parts and get anything re-chromed. That must have been hundreds of dollars to get that bar across the grill re-chromed. Nice bumpers, perfect body, a tasteful shrunken head, probably a former spouse. Really nice. Added dash. I wouldn't have thought of that. Very clever. Matching interior. Really very close to the paint color. Bed is very is beautifully done with the chrome strips. Got the log dish hubcaps with uh, beauty rings on steel wheels. Let's go around to the back. Oh. oh yeah, louver tailgate. That sound you heard was my knee being destroyed by the rather brutal bump. There you have it. Beautiful. And here is uh, a 34 Ford. I finally figured out how to tell the difference. If you look, the 34 Ford, it, the radiator grill goes straight down on the 33 it kind of swoops out sort of heart shaped at the bottom it took me forever to remember that but this is the 34 and about as pretty a color of blue I have ever seen down the side we'll take a look nicely upholstered very kind of simple basic interior you know what? The door's open the other side. Let's go over there. We can see without all the glare and reflections. Inside door panel is nice. Great looking seats. Ah, looks like he has a one of those jumpers. Apparently the battery was a little low this morning. Nice looking gauges. Steering column. Beautifully done. If this is a car you want, why don't you give this guy a call? It's only 33000 Actually, it probably cost you more than that to build it. I don't have a magnet handy to tell how much of this is metal, but it really doesn't matter. Beautiful. Got the five-spoke polished torque thrust Americans. I'm not sure why the rear has the normal cap, but the front has the extended bullet. That's kind of unusual. Maybe the original sort of flush mount cap fell off somewhere and he had that one handy. But uh, just a beautiful car. Beautiful paint job. Very impressive. One of my favorite models, 34, 33 and 34. Before we leave this one, I just want to get the front end there goes the GTO and my fond childhood memories of the havoc I raised in the one I had. Police are still looking for me. Let's wave goodbye to the 34. Beautiful. Let's take a look at this 58 Corvette. We know it's a 58. 
because they tarted them up like all the cars in 58. They put these simulated louvers on the hood and they have the chrome strips on the trunk. Otherwise, it's very much like the 59 and 60 Corvette. Pretty slick here. A uh, four speed, which you pretty much have to have, white steering wheel. Must have a convertible top under the boot there. Uh, I don't, yeah, I see some evidence of a detachable hard top. So he probably has both tops. A lot of nice chrome work done. Original hubcaps on white walls. This would be a 283 engine originally. Um, but God only knows what, what's under the hood. It probably is a 283. Everything else is pretty stock. One of my favorite years and, and uh, makes. 57, 58, 59, 60, four vets. Beautiful. And the 62. And here is a 1931 Graham. Very nicely restored. Beautiful shape. Got the trunk on the back for you to carry your inflatable doll for those rendezvous at the motel. A spacious back seat, perfect for the drive-in. You just tell the chauffeur to go to the concession stand and get you some uh, hot dogs and popcorn and then it's time for action. Naturally, uh, you'd want to have appropriate uh, posies here in the bud vase as you deflower your prom date in the back seat. Big white walls. The white wall is wider than most tires. The Firestones, naturally. I wonder if these are the people that made the crackers, the graham crackers. Just kidding. The sun is getting to me, I guess. There you go, the side louvers. Let the squirrels get some fresh air. Look at the headlights. My God, you could cook soup in the headlight and serve like a whole battalion. Beautiful. Real shell. Nice car. Here's a friend of mine's car. I featured it a couple times before. 1940 uh, Chevy two-door sedan. And he just put in a brand new engine, a 383 stroker with aluminum heads. And he, he is very fastidious. He does just beautiful work on these things. Nothing over the top, but just very tasteful detail work. I like the interior too. It's kind of a tweed that's a whole lot more comfortable than black Naga hide. Nice dash. I like the uh, air conditioner control panel. Nice steering wheel. And once again, it's got that drive in back seat. God knows what atrocities have been committed back there. Here we have a really nice looking 33 Ford with portholes cut in the side. I'm not sure how these engines can be cooled with the non-louvered side panels. Maybe this guy tried it and it heated up. Looks like a ramjet 350. This is a nice touch. The uh, running board covers chop top beautiful interior with an armrest look at that very simple very clean dash with aircraft switches galore down below it for the ailerons 
monster wheels. Look like Maltese crosses, kind of. Boy, just beautiful. Original style tail lights, supplemented with. Oh, oh, God. Hope you didn't see me. Additional uh, LED lights at the bottom. I had to gather my senses back after that. I'm still trying to gather them. Beautiful car. And here we have an utterly spectacular 1940 Ford. Uh, let's start at the back. It's absolutely flawless. Five spoke American torque thrust, polished. Pretty good size in the back. 16s, 17s. Nice clean dash uh, from the smell I'm getting. And it's a good one. Uh, I think it's a leather interior. Unlike the smell you get some of these cars. Nice dash. Just a very tasteful, beautifully done car. Look at that. They put in the wing vent windows and then the little narrow roll up window. Pretty snazzy. Let's take a look at the front end. It's got a little hairnet there to keep the flying tarantulas out of the radiator. Uh, is that what that's for? <laughs> yeah. No, it's to keep the bugs and yeah. rock chips and all. Yeah. Beautiful car. I salute this, the owner. Yeah, it is. Here I'm saluting. Watch. <laughs> there we go. I was wondering what those little screws. You know, you see a lot of Corvettes, but that's a beautiful color. And beautiful wheels. That's pretty nice. Nice exhaust note. Sweet car. Here we have an XKE, which I think, as I remember, is the 2 plus 2 model. It has a back seat, although you'd have to have stumpy legs to fit in it. So I'd probably fit in it. Um, pretty nice and nice shape. I just always thought if you're going to have an XKE, I don't, I don't like that big sweeping roof. I kind of, you know, you, what you want is a convertible, I think, to just really thumb your nose at all your poverty-ridden friends. Nice interior. Nice car. I remember I used to see these all the time. You just don't see them much anymore. Set car, Doug. Jaguar. Oh. Speaking of Corvettes, here's a brand new one, which you don't see much of, surprisingly enough. They're so different. It's got that huge intake port. So like a Audi or a Lamborghini. See, you see pictures all the time of these things, but the real things are kind of scarce. I don't know if Chevrolet had Sorry, trouble making them during the COVID yeah, epidemic no, or what. Button. Look at how narrow that rear window is. That's what this has. This is a button. Yeah. It's got the mid-engine, yeah, like crazy. Ferrari. It's just hard as hell to get in and out of. And then in my garage. It's gorgeous. Look at this beast. Scary look. Just like that kid marching. I'd have to sit in there for 30 minutes before I took off. Nice 